Hey guys, uh, it's kind of one two one, uh, or the account CRO eleven twenty one. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, a combination piston door. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, if you've seen the combination redstone locks, you know they open just like that. Voila, or the piston doors. Come over here, step on a pressure plate, it opens up, lock back, closes. Uh, yeah, that was kind of fail, but all right, whatever. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need about a stack or so of redstone, some redstone torches. You're also gonna need a good amount of solid blocks. Uh, I want to say one, two, three. 10, 11, 12 solid blocks, uh, a couple pressure plates, and we should be all good. So, what you want to do first is pick out a combination like this. And by the way, this does work. Um, just like that. So, here's what we're going to do. Here. So, get yourself a couple sticky pistons. And uh choose a spot. I'm we'll just do it right over here. And then you wanna count one, two, three, four spaces. Another and one more. So just like that. Alright. So now we're gonna do this. You just want to take these blocks and put them like that. Alright. Now, uh, attach whatever blocks you want. Iron, whatever you think looks nice. I don't really need to do anything because this isn't going to be like my house or anything. So, you do that. And now you should get something that looks a little bit like this. Alright, now take a shovel. And, uh, you want to dig... from right so at this block dig two spaces and do it again on the other side alright and right under that block go do it again on the other side alright I don't know why my guy is doing that but that was a fail sorry So now we'll go put two torches right under there, and we'll put another block right here. And then we'll dig over and make like a nice gap, and we're going to dig two down. It's going to be a little uh, uh, escape hole. So, we're going to dig right under here. And, alright. So, now we pretty much have the piston door almost done. So, now you're going to take your pressure plates. Okay. And a couple solid blocks. Put them right in front of the piston doors. Alright, so now we have our, like, I guess triggers. Or actually, wait, you're only going to need two. I'm sorry. Because you're going to have that combination. So, these two are going to help you get out. And then the combination is going to open it. And by the way, that's a little big. Sorry about that. I could I could have made it smaller if I really wanted to, but so now we're going to take our redstone and we're going to go and put it 
in like a four, kind of like a circuit type thing, right under there. I'm going to do the same thing right over here. On the other side, and do the same thing. Sorry about the background noise. Alright, so now we have this circuit. Alright, and uh, so now what you want to do is you want to take the redstone, put it up like that, and all the pistons will be closed by default. Alright, so now all of them are closed, and now we can come over here, put our block, they magically open, awesome. So now we have a working door. Now here's what we're going to do now. So if you have like a wall next to the door or something like that, you know, then we can, we can kind of make like a nice little wall. So make sure it's at least six blocks, alright? And, uh, if you don't know how to set a combination, well, I mean, you, you should know how to set a combination, of course, but, like, how to make it so it'll work, um, well, what you need to do is you need to have, like, here, I'll show you how to do this. Sorry. It's my fault. All right. So we'll put one right here, we'll put one right here, we'll put one right here. So we want to have this one up and these two down. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go put redstone torch on the one that wants to be up. And then a block in front of the part ones that want to be down. And then we want to take redstone and put it on top of these blocks like that. And they should be glowing when they're down. Alright. So now we're going to make some AND gates. Um, that So every redstone addict knows you need to have a solid block to conduct redstone signal, blah, blah, blah. So take some solid blocks, go like that. This torch should be glowing, these two should be off when those two are down. If this one is glowing, that means it's receiving uh, no power at all. Or I'm sorry, it is receiving yeah no power um... so now what we're gonna do we're gonna take this and then we're gonna connect these two into an end gate another solid block redstone torches alright now i don't know why i always have this problem because this one never wants to go down, so I always have to like test it and make sure it works. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but you have to kind of play around with it, you know. There we go. So now we have that working, and only that one is glowing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of, you might need a couple repeaters depending on how, it's kind of big, so that was my fault. Um, so, we're going to bring this, okay, we're going to come over into the hole that you dug for the piston door, and we are going to connect it. That's pretty much what it does, okay, so we have the combination set, but I don't think it's uh, strong enough, so we might need a repeater. We'll go grab a repeater. Um, you don't really need to mess with delays, you just need it to send a signal. So, once you have that, that'll open, and then it'll stay open. But if you want it to close, what you can do is you can come back here, you can pull like a lever or something, 
you know, just to uh, close it. So, now we pretty much have the whole thing. So that's awesome. So, if you set a switch or something like that, you know, you should be good. I mean, I can't really set anything right here, but... Sorry about that. And yeah, you can always do something. I don't know. But, you know, just set that. I don't know. Put a block right there. A block of the redstone. And then that'll close. And you come over here, press that, and it'll open. So, that's pretty much how you make a combination piston door. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, whatever. Thanks.